What is going on everybody? Hope you guys are all having a great day. I'm back with another pickups video. This one is more summer themed and I don't really like to buy a lot of clothes in the summer to be honest. When it gets like too hot, I pretty much just give up on anything that I want to wear. Like if it's something cool, I just won't wear if it's too hot. So my selections are pretty small for summer pickup. But nonetheless, I'm going to start off with some things that I've made for my brand ordinary practice and things that I'm releasing very soon. I'm gonna start off with this t-shirt. This is the curved seam tee. And as much as I don't really wanna call it like an elevated basic, it kind of is just an elevated basic. It's got its name from having a curved seam on the side by having both side seams being twisted, being curved inwards, which gives it this little bit of a different shape than a traditional t-shirt. It's made out of 100% cotton. It has pretty much invisible seams everywhere except for the shoulders. Since I wanted to have a neck and shoulder lining to make it more comfortable, single stitching on the arm and the hem. As for the fit of it, I really wouldn't call it boxy. I'm really not a big fan of like a boxy t-shirt, but it's not a slim fitting shirt either. It's more of a standard fit t-shirt with an emphasis of like staying at your waistline. These will either be releasing at the end of this month or early in August, and it will come in a one and a two pack. Now, moving on to this pair of denim that I'm also working on. This pair is made out of a raw denim, essentially. It is not a selvage denim, but just a raw finish. And I wanted a pair of jeans that had a like medium to long rise, but just a traditional like five pocket pant. This is just the first sample. I will be experimenting with like a washed pair as well, like more of a traditional vintage Levi's, very authentic looking wash. On the coloring on this pair of denim, I really love. It's kind of hard to see it on camera, but in person there is quite a few like highs and low points. These are like a straight wide cut pair of jeans. I wanted them to really kind of stack on the shoe. It features a five button fly on the front, this leather embellished patch on the back that you can put your belt through just to make them fit better. Now this is just like the first sample and just pretty much first pair of denim that I've actually enjoyed that I've made. But I think it's fun to just look at the process of like where this is and where my final product will be. Now for the last things that I have created, are these 100% cotton loose gauge knits. These will be the two colors that we'll be releasing early fall, end of summer time frame. But these are pretty much the final samples. It's made out of this 100% cotton knit. It features these raglan sleeves. They are fully furnished. Um, you can see with the decoration kind of going down of it. Now on the neck, the hem and the sleeves, there is distressing. I wanted this to have like a worn in look. And on the cuffs, there are these thumb holes that you can kind of put your hand in if you wanted to maybe layer the sweater or if it's just really cold out and you have this thing on, you can kind of wear it as like half gloves. This has more of a standard fit with like elongated sleeves in my opinion. You can kind of play around with how you want the hem to sit. One little last detail that I did was split the side seams so you can kind of manipulate the front without manipulating the back fully, which allows you to style this in so many different ways. Overall, I'm just really happy on how this came out and just how it fits. That's pretty much the last thing that I've been working on that I'm gonna show. I'm gonna move back to a pair of denim. This is the Our Legacy Third Cut Digital Print Denim. This is something that I've had on my wish list for just about a year now and someone was selling them for a great deal so I picked them up. Everything that is on this pair is digitally printed on which if you don't know it is the technique called trompe l'oeil or it's something like that. It's a French term. How do you pronounce trompe l'oeil? Trompe l'oeil. Alright. Disclaimer for anybody who has a pair of third cuts or was looking to pick up a pair of third cuts. They do run huge. I personally have like a 30 waist, but I like to buy pants at 32. So I kind of have that wiggle room. I ordered these in a size 32 and they're basically a 34 waist. So I'm going to have to go take these into the tailor, but just like a disclaimer, if you were looking at a pair of the third cut jeans now, unlike traditional like baggy jeans, these have like a very wide thigh, but then they kind of taper down. And I don't know if it's like the trompe ploy playing tricks on me, but I feel like this pant at the bottom is not that baggy, but when you wear it, it feels baggier than it does. I think the shape on these is very flattering for a lot of people. The denim quality is great. It is a little stiff since it is like a untreated denim. One thing that I really like on these denims is this patch is like this see-through patch, which if you have like a very cool belt or something, you can kind of see it through there. Overall, they are pretty hot for summer, but this is like the perfect pair of denim to kind of just 
wear a white tee since they're almost like a little bit of a statement piece when you really look at them. Now, last but not least for apparel, I have these two pieces from the brand 33 millimeter. I decided to pick up this waffle knitted sweater. Um, someone that was a bit bigger back in the day. I've actually never worn tank tops. I've always just felt really insecure and just not myself in them. But I wanna try something like this that had a little bit bigger ribbing and like more structure to it. And honestly, this is the first tank top I've actually enjoyed wearing out. It's made out of like a 25 viscose and a 75 polyester. So it is pretty much just all plastic, but it doesn't feel itchy on the skin. Um, like most polyesters, the length is also in my opinion, perfect. It's not too short where you can't tuck it in, but it doesn't give like your pants too much bulkiness because it's so long. Overall, this is pretty much my favorite tank top I've ever purchased. Now, the second item that I got from 33 millimeter is just this blank white tee. It is more of a slim fitting t-shirt that you can kind of just like wear every day. Um, it's made out of this 95% cotton, 5% spandex, which gives it this like very spongy texture. I don't know how to explain it without being in person, but the shirt just is thicker than like a traditional 100% cotton tee. I will say having that 5% spandex really does make the shirt feel better since it is like a tighter and slimmer fitting shirt. You don't really feel like you're fighting the shirt, but honestly, probably one of the best t-shirts I've ever owned and something that I really can't see myself getting rid of. I'm gonna start off with these two pairs of shoes from Ore, New York City. As you may know, probably one of my favorite footwear brands out at the moment. I'm gonna start off with these red sneakers. This is like the V2 of their 1917 sneaker, I believe it was called, but it is in this super beautiful red and cream colorway. They featured this red canvas up top with these huge cream soles all the way around. One thing that I think is really cool about these sneakers is the way that Ray went around designing these. He was very inspired by the cartoon Arthur which I used to watch growing up. The quality of these shoes are incredible. The only thing I will say is for me personally, they have been kind of a weird shoe to style. And I don't mean because the shoe looks bad on, I just think that in my wardrobe, just this big bright pop of red is just hard to go with like a lot of the stuff that I own, but these are so sick. Ray gifted these to me when I ordered the sneakers. I paid full price for those. So shout out Ray for these, these are beautiful. They feature this really high military combat style upper with these very nice silver aglets all the way around and these super tall back zippers that Ray and O'Ray is kind of known for on their shoes. I've never owned a pair of infantry like military style boots. Now these are definitely not like a summer shoe. I think I've worn them once or twice at this point. I'm really excited to see how I can style these. One thing that I really enjoy on a lot of the O'Ray shoes is this Vibram sole. They have so much grip. This is going to be like the perfect winter shoe, but these boots are just tanks and I'm really excited to get a lot more wear out of these in the winter time. Thank you so much to Ray yet again. And the last pair of shoes are these Gats from Joseft. And I've actually owned this pair exactly before, but I had to sell them since they were a little bit too big. I've talked about Joseft so much on this channel. I just think that the quality of materials and the craftsmanship for the price, you really just cannot beat it. They are made in Korea. I will say when you first get them, they are a bit stiff, but as soon as you break them in, they are extremely comfortable. They feature this gum sole, suede paneling throughout with this very nice like calfskin leather and waxed laces on the front. The inside is pretty much entirely leather as well with a suede back heel, which feels amazing. So your shoes don't get that weird slippage, you know what I'm talking about? These have pretty much been my summer beaters and they're gonna continue to be my beaters until I need another pair. There's a reason why people get these and people wear the hell out of them. Now, the last kind of pickup I have are these Seawire Oakleys. I think they're from the mid early 2000s, but they're just these like kind of funky, futuristic sunglasses and uh, I don't really wear sunglasses and I realized I needed a pair. And I really enjoy like all the old Oakley stuff. They feature these ovalish fronts, this little embroidery on the front and those rubber tips actually make the glasses stay on way better when they're on your ears. These are pretty funky. Uh, yeah, but that is pretty much it for all my summertime pickups. Let me know what you guys think.